Hi guys. Happy Wednesday night. So um, I teach online on Wednesdays, so we're most likely, um, if we do like a live stream, I mean we as like a little community of people and friends, if this, these happen, they'll probably happen on Wednesday nights because that's when I'm finished teaching online. So um, I have someone new to show you. Hi guys, thank you, there's one person. <laughs> thank you for being here. So I, um, I thought that I could show you my new little thing, my little new person over there. Um, this is actually an instrument that I've had since I was seven. It was my grandmother's. It belonged originally to my great grandfather. Hi. <laughs> By the way, if my tongue is yellow, it's because I just ate um, this. I'm, I feel like I'm like on the verge of getting sick. So I took some, it's called like golden thistle or some kind of golden thing. I honestly forget the name of it, but my music teacher, who was like my other mom, gave it to me a while ago. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad you're here. So it turns your mouth yellow and it apparently helps fight off the first sign of a cold or something. So anyway, but it's almost St. Patrick's Day. I'm not Irish but um, I love Irish fiddle music and I thought we could just hang out and have a little drink and I could show you my um, violin because you've never met my violin before. <laughs> you've only ever seen my viola. So, but first we need some Baileys in celebration of St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> so that's the only like Irish-ish thing that I have around the house. So we're going to, if I can open it, Oh, there we go. We're gonna just have a little bit of this. Get the party started. And then I'm going to play through some of my favorite Irish fiddly tunes. There we go, not too much. My mom is also coming to visit for this week. So she might make an appearance, I don't know. She may come live with me, I'm not sure. Or she may move in next door. <laughs> but I'm excited for her to be here and she's coming in about two hours. So anyway, cheers. Happy St. Patrick's Day early. <laughs> and um, I hope you guys are, I mean, you know, be careful on St. Patrick's Day. Don't drink too much. Stay at home maybe. I don't know. I'm the most boring person. So I need to show you my violin. This belonged to my great-grandfather and I had this when I was about seven. This is my um, instrument that I was lucky enough to play on when I was little. Little enough but big enough to to play a... Hi Jake! <laughs> Hola! So old enough to kind of play. Hi! <laughs> Hi guys! I'm so glad you're here. So this belonged to my great grandfather. I think he picked it up in Germany during like World War II. He was actually, um, I think he was working in Holland at the time. Um, and you know, I don't, I honestly don't really know the story, but it, it's, I think it's a German instrument, but I think it's a copy of a, of an old Italian instrument. I honestly can't, um, read the label in, in here and I'm not, like the best with that kind of thing, but it has a beautiful sound. And um, so I thought I could, the best way to introduce you to my violin would be to play through some Irish fiddle tunes. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite little tunes and they're gonna be from this book. Love this book. And I'm not sure, I would like to kind of angle it so you could kind of see the music too. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I'm like that sophisticated. Let's see. Okay, whoops, everything's gonna like fall over. Okay, so I'm looking at this one. I feel like it might be backwards. Can someone tell me if the music is backwards? Because if the music is backwards, then I will just um, not have it focused on this. To me, it kind of looks like it's backwards. Oh, it's not backwards. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's 
So that way you can, um, okay, cool. So that way you could maybe, I don't know, you could like take a screenshot or something if you wanted. So we got to start with one of the most famous tunes in my opinion. We're going to come back to this one. This is one of my favorite pieces ever. It's called The Irish Washerwoman. C-H-I. This is a great book. I love, love, love this book. So this piece starts um, over here and then it kind of goes over here. So let's see. I wonder if you can watch my left hand while I play it. I don't think you can probably see both of them. And I can't see the music now, so <laughs> it'll be interesting. It's probably gonna be a mess. But anyway, I'll go slowly so you can kind of watch my hand and then I'll play it faster. And I'm also not a fiddle player, so don't like expect this to be completely accurate. But. and with some interesting things, so. right into the swallowtail, which I'm gonna show you, but um, listen to this. And here's swallowtail. So that will be the next one we look at. Um, oops, I if I can just show you this a little bit clearer. So this is the Irish washerwoman down here, and then it goes over here. Um, okay, so the next one is going to be The Swallowtail. This book is in alphabetical order. Let's see. Swallowtail. I hope <laughs> this is fun, you guys. Hope you're all doing well. Hope everything's good. And you know what? If it's not good, tomorrow's a new day. And, um... We just gotta get through it, you know. We all go through rough times. We all go through good times too. So it's part of being human. <laughs> okay, so the next one is the swallowtail jig here. And we've got two sharps with this one. So with this one, you're gonna have, if you're on the D string, you'd have D, E, F sharp, G. And then on the A string, A, B, C sharp, D, so you have the basic hand pattern. This song's like on the top three strings. And then on the E string, you're gonna have low two. So you have these kind of stable. And one and three are the same. Second finger's right there. So Swallowtail, I'll just play it fast, um, just for the sake of time, so. <laughs> Go back 
to the Irish, Irish washerwoman. If you wanted. I don't know. I mean, often they're, they're played in medleys. So one little trick with this one, the swallowtail, is to put your first finger on both of those middle strings. That way you don't have to do... You just kind of keep it there. And that's kind of nice because, you know, if you train your fingers to go between the strings sometimes and you'll be all set for chords. You can play an E minor chord really easily by just doing open all of your strings with that one anyway, FYI. But anyway, chords another day. So, what did you say? What book is that? Oh yeah. So the book is called The Fiddler's Fake Book. You can get it on Amazon. Um, I If it comes in spiral bound, I would recommend that because this uh, just doesn't work very well. It works well because this is like the last page-ish of the book. But if you can get it spiral bound, it'll just keep open a lot better. Anyway, so Swallowtail. And then another one that I love, this is probably one of my top five songs ever, is The Road to Listun Varna. C, Q, R, and then S. So this is, it's in alphabetical order. So, um, Road to Listun Varna. Okay, and I've put in some of my own little things over here, like double stop wise. I really like to play this one with double stops. I'm gonna get another sip of Bailey's. <laughs> okay, so this one, I, I just absolutely love this one. This one has also two sharps, so basic hand pattern, basic hand pattern, low two. And we're, I don't think we we're gonna get to the G string, but if you were on the G string and you had two sharps, you'd have a C sharp there, so. B, C sharp, basic, F sharp, basic, C sharp, and then you have this low two. But anyway, we're just gonna be on these top three strings. Okay, so. Sounds really cool. Improvisation. Um, okay, so there's that one. The next one I really love, I've been showing everyone, is the Rakes of Kildare. Love, love, love this one. This sounds so beautiful with the chords, if you can play the chords. FYI, it's really easy to play chords. You just find the lowest root, so the root is whatever the name is, so like A is the root. Find the lowest A you can play and then roll up a fifth. So our strings are tuned in fifths, so if you find the lowest A and you just roll up a fifth, you just take the same finger and go up, you can easily play a chord or you can just play the root <laughs> along um, and just record yourself playing that. So you just have to be careful that you change the chords, you know, when it says to change them. Parentheses is, I'm assuming it's just like, this is an option, <laughs> you, can, you can play that. But um, yeah, so that's just an easy, easy way um, to play chords. There's lots of different ways, but that's an easy thing you can plug in. So, okay, I love this one.
added some of my own little noodle-y things in there, and I just want to remind you guys that I'm not a fiddler, <laughs> so um, there's probably way better people out there that play actual fiddle music that can really play these pieces better. I'm just showing you some of my favorite ones. So, Rakes of Kildare. Let's find another one. So, the Kesh Jig is another really beautiful one. Oh, the Morning Dew. We turned, I turned to this one, so I'm going to play you this one. There's a really great lesson, I think, on this one. Um, I think it's like Fiddle Channel or something. It's like a, an older guy who's teaching this lesson. He, I just love that channel. I, I can't remember the name of it, um, but if you just type in Morning Dew Tutorial and also Kesh Jig Tutorial, his, his um, tutorial comes up and it's just really awesome. So I'm gonna totally mess this one up because I don't have it memorized. So I don't think you're gonna be able to see my, let's see, maybe you can turn it this way so you can see my left hand a little bit. Okay, so... to the Kesh Jig. I hope you guys are finding this interesting. I'm gonna just play through a couple more of these. So let's see, cause I'm a little bit tired, but just wanted to say hi to you guys, see how you're doing. The Kesh Jig is, oh, the Merrily Kiss, Kiss the Quaker is a beautiful one. And the Merry Sisters Real. Let me just play you a little bit of both of these. Also don't have this these memorized, so. I'll just play like a portion of them. So, merrily kiss the Quaker. fun one if you can check this one out and like see someone really awesome play this this is a really cool one <laughs> well from there but even if I could see them I probably miss them <laughs> okay let's finally get to the Kesh jig the king of the fairies the these are just so good there's so many oh, there's just so many good pieces in here so the Kesh jig here is really beautiful so again find someone who's an actual federal player to play this but this has some turns in it. So a turn looks kind of like this. 
It's like a sideways infinity. It's like an S, a sideways infinity sign. And it's the note. So let's say it's your first finger. It's the note, the note above, back, below, and back again. So for example, if this is the main note, it's up, back, below, and back again. If it's third finger, if it's second finger, first finger, if it's open, although you might just have to go to a different position for that. But anyway, so. there's 13 of you <laughs> thank you and seven thumbs up wow so check this book out you know because like what if you find yourself in a Irish pub on St. Patrick's Day and you need to play a fiddle song you know I would recommend picking this book up and um, you can just get it on Amazon it's the fiddler's fake book it's this orange book here and I think it's about $17 or something Although I think they do have a spiral one that's a little bit more. And if you're like a gig, if you do gigs, like I would recommend getting that one <laughs> because it's easy to just keep it open. So yeah, and I would definitely check out the Irish Washerwoman. Oh yay, <laughs> good. Because, and I did play that one um, earlier on. The Irish Washerwoman can literally bring down the house. It's such a cool song. And you can start slowly and just keep repeating it going faster and faster and faster. <laughs> to show off but unsuccessful so anyway guys what do you think of my violin isn't it beautiful it looks like so small <laughs> I feel like it I mean I'm used to like seeing a big viola there it feels like a little Christmas tree ornament but it's fun I have a problem playing on the E string sometimes my E string doesn't really speak very well especially like second finger here yeah I love this violin yeah thank you <laughs> It's, you know what, it's actually been sitting in a case for about 15 years and I, I know it is so beautiful. And so when I opened it up, I went back home, I think it was in October, I usually go back home in October for my dad's birthday and I was like, I'm gonna bring this back home with me. I couldn't believe that I had just left it there. So um, yeah, it was, <laughs> I basically like cried when I opened the case and started to play it again. And the first thing that I played was You Are My Sunshine. <laughs> and I think I like put some double stops with it. I just wanted to introduce you to my violin, have a little drink with you, and make sure you're all doing okay.
okay. Are you guys okay in the world? Um, I don't know if any of you also, I did get it appraised. Um, it's not, you know, super expensive or anything. I'd say it's around like, I think if I remember correctly, it was around like four or something. So, you know, four million, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've, I don't know if any of you are into Joe Rogan's podcast, but I have been watching him for, or listening to him for years and years and years, and I, last week he had, was it last week or two weeks ago, he had, he's had some really fascinating people on, and yeah, double stops are tricky. I don't know if there's any other Joe Rogan fans out there, but, um... I just like reading your comments. <laughs> yeah. So who else? Remember Joe Rogan. Um, some of, these are like some of my favorite people in the world. So Jordan Peterson, Joe Rogan. Um, I because he had Alex Jones on. I thought he was like so funny, and so I love Alex Jones now. And who else? I don't know, all of you, you're probably all gonna think I'm a crazy person, <laughs> but I just, I really like, I'm really interested in like people's ideas and thoughts and, you know, whether they're right or wrong. I just am interested in how people think. So, yeah. So, uh, what else? Oh, I love Terrence McKenna. Joe, I mean, Joe didn't say anything. It's just, you know, I don't know if you have seen his podcast with Alex Jones, but it, like, literally, I love that podcast so much. It's, like, so, so funny and hilarious. And I made one of my friends write out all these hilarious quotes. Um, trying to read your comments. <laughs> I made my friend write out all these hilarious quotes and calligraphy from that podcast because they, they were just so funny. I don't know if you can read any of these, but they were just like hysterical and they look so much funnier in calligraphy. So they're in my case now and make me laugh and smile. Yeah. You know what? I should totally play you. Um, I should like actually play you the piece that I'm going to play in the Isle of Man. So when did I stop? Yeah, I stopped playing this when I, um, when I was like probably four, no, no, no. It was even before I was 14 because I got another violin um, before that. So probably when I was like 12, I think I was like 12 or something when I stopped playing this one. So, but it's like so, it's like a precious instrument <laughs> close to my heart. Yeah, so what was I talking about? I, I forget what I was talking about. Um, people that I'm, was, we were talking about Joe Rogan and Alex Jones and, oh, funny quotes and, oh, the Isle of Man. Yeah, so the Isle of Man, play, play some more we love. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I was thinking of playing you that piece that I'm working on. Let me see what time it is. Yeah, it's a bit late here. I'm my neighbor like our walls are like paper thin, so our neighbors can probably they'll be upset if I keep playing. But before I leave, I will play you completely the piece that I'm gonna play in this master class on the Isle of Man. I'm really like, very nervous for it. <laughs> um I've played you like a little bits of it before, but like to play the whole thing. So um, Hoff German violins are highlighted. Yeah, I I don't think this is one of those. This is, it says like 1719 Francis Gabetti, something rather. It looks like it's a really, really old um, label that's in there. But, you know, violins are, we have had someone look at this to kind of check it out. And they've said that it's a copy. So if it was the real thing, then it would probably be worth more. But and I have had two people look at it, and they've, they've both appraised it for, um, you know, where it is. So is violin easier than the viola? Uh, I mean, it's harder to play the viola, <laughs> for sure. 
but thinking to switch to the little, yeah so the clef is different and it's just bigger so it takes it's a bit harder to play because the strings are thicker it's a bigger instrument so it's like harder in that way um and it's like a little more awkward to get around but like you know the violin repertoire is so so challenging so you know if you if you're like a virtuoso on the violin then you're gonna be amazing at the viola so um yeah, uh, so anyway, you guys, oh, tell me a little bit about yourself. I would love to know more about you if you feel like sharing or, you know, I obviously love um, like crystals and plants and the desert and all this kind of thing. I like Bailey's. <laughs> okay, actually, I probably need to just kind of get everything ready for my mom to come. She's coming um, and let's see. I gotta go pick her up in like an hour. So I'm gonna make a cup of tea, go make sure that everything is in its place. And yeah, so I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for being here with me. <laughs> hope you had fun. Definitely check this book out. Go pick up this book, you won't regret it. And I will see you later. So um, I usually probably like Wednesday nights are a good time. My mom's gonna be here this week, so I don't know that I will be here next Wednesday night, but I teach online on Wednesdays. So I think Wednesday nights in the future probably will be the time that we get together. I have, um, they're like Pernambuco, if that's the right. Um, the, my bows are Pernambuco. They're all about, um, I don't know. I mean, they have to match their bow and the violin or the viola have to kind of match each other. So that's another day. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys later. Follow me on Instagram if you want. Um, sometimes post on Instagram. It's the Violin Viola Masterclass. And I um, don't think I really do any. I'm not on Facebook really. So Instagram if you want to stay in touch more. See you later. Bye.